This is a 190 watt solar panel I've had for a couple of years. It puts out 20 volts at around nine amps. You can see it's about five and a half feet tall. And I could pick it up and move it around reasonably well by myself. And I built this little easel here so that way I can angle it towards the sun. This is an all powers 200 watt flexible solar panel and there is no comparison to the weight. It's a little shorter and a little wider, but it weighs just a couple of pounds. So this is significantly easier to move around. And obviously, it's very, very, very flexible. Not so much this way, but this way. I can just about fold it in half. So flexible solar panels are designed for mostly for teardrop RVs where they can fit the curvature or you know a golf cart or something like that that's got a sloped roof. But there's nothing stopping you for using it for any various purpose. We've got these tie rings on the side all along. I made these very simple little loops which lets me throw it over the fence and south is that way. So much easier to move around, you know, if you're not in a fixed location, if you're camping or RVing or something that you need portable, much, much, much lighter. So let's see how efficient they are compared to each other. It is 1.45 in the afternoon, so I've got pretty much full sun. Now these panels should be angled, but for sake of comparison, we're just gonna lay them flat so we can have an apples to apples comparison. I've got my new Purea power station. So I'm gonna use that as a benchmark. Now what's interesting about the flexible panel is that it's higher voltage. It's 40 volts at six amps, which actually is a benefit means you can use smaller gauge wire. Also means that you should be able to parallel or series two of them together and get to 80 volts and uh, not overload the input on most of your portable power stations. So uh, interesting configuration that's uh, not real common. All right, let's do the solid glass one now. I had to make sure to push these MC4s all the way together. I don't really care for them, but you know, that's kind of the standard. Okay, sun's coming out from behind a cloud. 60, 70, 75, 83, 90, 97, 100, 110. So 110 watts on the glass panel. The sun is right there. Let's see if we can get any more out of the flexible panel. 41, 61, 75, 84, 90, 110, 120, 125, 133, 140, 140, 150. Sun is still overhead, 150. Holding steady at uh, 155 watts. Pretty cool. So we are getting a little bit more power, all things being equal, between the flexible panel and the hard panel. So there you have it, all things being equal. I got these two panels laying exactly next to each other in the exact same sun. Max of 110 watts on my glass panel, 150, 160 on the flexible. So really a pretty impressive efficiency considering this is not angled properly towards the sun but really not bad the uh the weight on this or lack of weight is really amazing 
The other really neat thing about the All Powers flexible panel is it comes with an MC4 to XT60 adapter in the box. I was not expecting that. So if you've got a common power station, you've got the adapter cord built in, that's you know, 10 or $20 by itself. And it's included, it was really neat. So if you have a teardrop, a golf cart, anything like that, or you just want something that's really, really lightweight and really durable and easy to move around, check out the link down below. This is the All Powers 200 watt flexible solar panel. Thanks, I'll catch you on the next one.